Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan 427 Today, I actually have another Batman and Robin review. This is actually on a Robin DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys figure. And you know, I was always a huge fan of the Robin from both uh, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. I always was a huge fan of uh, Chris O'Donnell. I thought he was a really, really cool Robin. Really, this this one really great with the character, even though those movies really weren't the best. And definitely go check out my Batman George Clooney review. I actually had that on my channel already. Definitely go check that out. Go to my channel, check that out. It should be right on there because i actually doing this after that but uh, you know i'm a huge huge fan of this robin but these movies you know they're okay to me i feel like they're the bottom of the batman movies just to me personally i just feel that way but let's actually get closer to the box and actually looking at the box you see we get the figure right here we get the rest of the building figure i'm making a whole separate video on a mr freeze with all the figures lined up with him that's all we're doing with the mr freeze and of course you get 22 moving parts parts of articulation mcfarland toys up there 12 plus which i always thought that was kind of hot dc multiverse robin and you see you get the rest of the stuff yeah i'm not trying to pay for it dc multiverse robin get uh batman and robin up here Robin right there from Batman and Robin. You see, I love this packaging. It's actually red because they usually always blacked out. And you see, it says Batman and Robin right here. You see, this is the Mr. Freeze Builder figure, collector build, Mr. Freeze. This is all four of the figures. All four of these will be on my channel. I see the George Clooney Robin. Next up is actually going to be doing Batgirl and Poison Ivy. And this is the top of the box, the bottom of the box. And next up, let's actually open this box up and actually get into the figure. And actually looking at this figure straight up and down, you see, of course, like the other Batman, you get no accessories with this figure at all. You just get this straight up and down. I do think it's really cool. I had to put the base on it because it just wouldn't stand up. Maybe it's just on a turntable. Hopefully it stands up actually on its own. And I do think this thing looks really, really awesome. Actually picking this up and actually grabbing it. See XFL. First looking at this base, let me show you the base. Same DC base they always actually give us. I do think it's cool to give us a base, but same thing every single time. Not like it's anything. But this hand scope, I think it's cool. It doesn't really capture all the way, but I think the George Clooney is better, but then they're not showing his whole entire face. I think it's cool for Chris O'Donnell. I mean, you could definitely tell it. I think it's forehead or his head is probably too big. Looks a little too wild or like too wild, like straight up and down for me. I don't know. It's just something off with it, but you could definitely tell who it's supposed to, who it's supposed to be. I definitely think it's the, probably the best big fall I can actually do for a six inch figure. So I'm not really complaining uh, too much about that. But actually getting into actual figure, of course you get double jointed elbows right here. You get pins in it, double jointed elbows. I think this suit is fantastic. Absolutely love the suit. Of course you get the nipples on it, get the abs, the belt. That's really awesome. Love this colors and stuff like this. Love this Robin suit. I think this definitely captures Robin, right? Of course you get double jointed knees. These are just being moved and stuff. So that's the reason it's so hard to actually move them around. These are just being open and just being moved. Definitely really, really stiff joints. Of course, you get the logo right here on the boots as well. Hopefully you guys can see that. You see on the back here, it's, cape. it's the same kind of material we got on the Batman. It definitely looks exactly like it. The shine to it and stuff like that. I know a lot, some people asking for cloth. They're not going to give us cloth. They're not going to do that. Of course, you get the mask, like little mask right here, which just covering his eyes. And that's it, which Robin usually always had. But yeah, you get the ankle articulation as well. You get toe articulation, which is really, really cool. So you can pull off some poses right there with the toe articulation. So I think that's awesome as well. You see right here on the back too. That's the back of them. Well, they always show the back of it on there. And I think this is, yeah, this is a really, really awesome Robin figure. Really love this suit right here actually on it. And next up, let's actually get into the accessories. And actually getting into the accessories, I already showed you guys the base, but here's the card that you actually get with it. Uh, I think these are cool. I mean, I really don't know what to do with them. Just put them in my drawer or just maybe I'll get a book to put them all in once I really start getting into collecting McFarlane figures, but I don't really know what to do with it. I think it's really, really cool. Get a picture. It's basically the poster. You actually can pretty much kind of put it all together right here. It's pretty much the poster of it. But next, next up, you actually get the Mr. Free stuff. Separate video, like I said before, will be coming on this. Well, we talk about all the Mr. Freeze and lining all the figures up in this build the figure. So this is really cool, really awesome right here. That's really, really cool. Get, I believe these are single jointed. Yeah, these are single jointed arms. I don't know why they didn't give us double. Maybe because it's so big, that's why. But I know the legs are single jointed as well. You go to right and left. You don't get no switch outs on this neither, but you get some really cool ice effects as well. I believe, no, that one actually came on there. Yeah, but you actually get really cool ice effects on here as well. So that's really, really awesome right there. 
get the ice effects and that was actually the figure and stuff like that so next up let's actually pose the figure up and get my final thoughts actually wrapping this batgirl and poison ivy figure reviews up and i definitely really enjoyed both of these figures that batgirl really blew me away i really love the way this batgirl looks i think it's fantastic poison poison ivy is cool too and i definitely think that you know I was definitely going to get Batgirl just to have the set with all three of them. I probably wasn't going to get Poison Ivy if they actually didn't have a Mr. Freeze with it. But I'm actually glad I actually got the Poison Ivy and actually completed the set. This is like one of the first figure sets I've probably ever completed, to be honest. Because I just don't complete sets. I just pick up the ones that I really want. Because the builder figures really don't intrigue me. But this one, I had to get the Arnold Schwarzenegger Mr. Freeze. I just, I mean, for me personally, I just had to get that figure into my collection. It was a must-have, especially to go with my Batman, my Robin, and my Batgirl. But tell me your thoughts in the comments, comment section below. What do you think about these two figures? What do you think about the whole wave? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.